Ireland's top law official launches legal action to avoid having to do the same thing. And always quit while you're ahead, right? That's the advice. Well, just days after becoming Formula One world champion, Nico Rosberg announces he's retiring. Good morning. Oh, good evening. Sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, please turn your microphone on and say hello. Hello. Uh, what's your name? My name is Lera. Mm. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Do I know you, Lera? Yes. Uh, we had a lesson. Already? When was that? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, maybe um, a few weeks ago. Oh, really? Okay. And your name is Lera, right? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Good. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Tomsk. From Tomsk. So that means that um, we talked a lot with you about how to take this exam in uh, Russian national exam, right? Right. Okay. Now I got you. Why didn't you send me the um, home, home assignment? I haven't uh, done it already. But you had a lot of time. Um, I want to make it um, to be um, perfect. <laughs> That's no way to be perfect. I've never, <laughs> I've never been perfect. Nobody can be perfect. That doesn't exist. Um, you just have to do, yeah. I want to make um, less mistakes than um, the times. Well, it's up to you, of course. Um, Alice, um, good to see you. Uh, hello, uh, nice to meet you again. Um, My name is Alice. Uh, about yeah. you. Uh, Actually, nothing special at all. Um, just uh, this week, I continued my dance classes, which I did as a plant for maybe for a uh, full week. Uh, and um, um, teachers at university um, give a lot, a lot of homework. So, a lot of time I spent doing my homework. Um, Okay. Interesting. Um, Lera, how about you? Do you have any news to share? Truly mm, speaking, I don't have um, any interesting news. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So, uh, before we start, um, I would like to start with a big question, as always. So, um, well, Probably it's not that easy to explain. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about music. So, you know that um, some people say that um, they, they like music a lot and uh, uh, some people find uh, some music very popular. So. What kind of music is popular to you? And um, do you think that um, there exists popular music? So, please. Okay, you can start talking. Um, I think that popular music that kind of music that people listen and uh, people can dance on this uh, dance uh, listening this music uh, that they uh, can uh, still popular music is a music uh, which we can listen in different clubs uh, in um, different magazines or uh, pops we are Okay, I understand, um, Alice. Uh, the question to you maybe 
I, I would like to be a little bit more specific. Uh, can you give me some names of the bands, uh, names of the titles of the songs? For example, Bruno Mars. Uh, moves like dagger. Bruno, moves like dagger. <laughs> Bruno Mars. And uh, say it again, the name of the song. Uh, moves like dagger. Moves like dagger. Okay. So, why do you think that this is a popular song? Um, they are about uh, one million, uh, one billion uh, views on YouTube. One uh, billion what? Billion views on uh, views. YouTube. Okay, on YouTube. All right. All right, that's an interesting answer. Um, let me just um, take some notes and then uh, to you, Lera. Uh, do you agree that Bruno Mars moves like a dagger is a popular song? I'm not sure, but um, I don't know this song. I think I heard it, but um, I can't remember it. So, uh, it, as for me, it's not um, as popular a song as um, for some people. Well, you you know that I I never I never talk about something which is uh, very definite. Uh, so you see, I have only two visitors today uh, in my class, and uh, you know. Alice, you said that Bruno Mars is popular because it has 1 billion views on YouTube and uh, I'm sorry to say, well, that's understandable that I haven't heard about this song, but uh, probably because I'm from another generation and uh, um, Lera said that she hasn't heard this song, she doesn't know this song also. Alice, what do you think but about in that? The world, yeah. uh, in the world, there are eight billion people so it's uh, not using that one people didn't um, heard this song yeah but I they are only one billion. yeah i understand i understand but at the same time you know we have only two people here so it's kind of a statistics <laughs> interesting statistics all right uh let me okay um first of all Lera, uh which song do you think is popular Mm. As I know, one of the most popular songs uh, nowadays um, for a lot of months was a uh, song uh, by Rihanna Work. Uh, it has uh, a lot of different remixes and covers and it was everywhere uh, for the whole summer. And what's, what's, what's the name? Work. Sorry? Work. Uh, work. It's just uh, W O R K, right? Right, right. And uh, I think that I spelled uh, in a bad way uh, the name Rihanna. Did I? I I, is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Oh, well, I don't know. So, uh, uh, now, Alice, what do you think? Is this song popular? Yes, yes, I know. You know this one. Popular. All right, um, ladies. Uh, so now, I want to tell you something which I know. Well, for example, um, well, of course, you know that uh, the new uh, president-elect in the United States of America is uh, Donald Trump, right? Yes. Um, Donald. Excuse me, Donald Trump. Well, do you know that every, almost every, his, uh, uh, his every public presentation, his every public speech um, finished with uh, one and the same song, which became very popular in the United States of America. Have you heard this song? Do you know the name of this song? I didn't hear it. Okay. Well, that's interesting. 
Um, okay. Let me let me try. Maybe I can play it. I'm not sure whether you will hear it or not. Well, I, I will just ask you if you do not hear it. Uh, then you will tell me that you can't hear that. Okay. Just let's start. And you will tell me whether you can hear it or not. It's uploading. Can you hear that? Yes, I can. Um, how about uh, Alice? Can you hear? I can. Okay, just listen a little bit. Uh, so that was, uh, let's say, one of the most popular songs uh, during the election and uh, after it. So uh, the 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 band is uh, Rolling Stones. Well, do you know Rolling Stones? Okay, and uh, yeah, what's that? You know. Yes. Okay, so why why do you think this song is so popular? I have no idea. And, uh, Lera? Um, as you said, uh, it was played uh, after all the um, speeches of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. so maybe. That's the reason. Well, you know, first of all, of course, because it's very easy to sing, it's only three chords, very easy to sing and to play, And uh, but the most important uh, is the lyrics, and that is why I'm typing this lyric. You can't always get what you want, you can get what you need. What do you think about that? You can't always get what you what you want. Sorry. Um, okay, I just messed it. Sorry. Yeah, I will not do it over. But uh, you can understand what I'm saying. I I skip the word. You can't always get what you want. Alright? Mm -hmm. 
you can't always get what you want you get uh, you can get what you need what do you think about that because of these two lines uh, in the lyrics this song became so popular and because of these two lines this song was selected to be the song going together with all the presentations and uh, uh, speeches by Donald Trump you can't always get what you want you can get what you need alright I understand that this is pretty difficult for you but ladies this is your world and you, you have to understand everything which is go uh, which goes on around you now please tell me what do you think about that Alice Uh, the song supports Donald Trump for uh, uh, his election program. Um, so he wanted to say to people that uh, need to, so, to elect uh, to Trump because that's all that they needed is try to All right, and uh, Lera, what do you think? Mm, I think um, the word want uh, is um, mostly about wishes, but um, when you really need something, you are going to do uh, something to reach your goals. And um, I think it is uh, more uh, powerful, something like that. Okay, maybe, maybe you're right. Well, I uh, do not forget that um, any kind of uh, such a line can be in uh, your essay, like the topic of your essay. So that is why you are supposed to always be ready to talk about everything. So, um, well, if you ask me, um, how I understand uh, these lines is uh, that people in America they usually um, they ask for getting lots of things lots of stuff and uh, they get lots of things uh, and uh, they take it for granted do you understand this expression they take lots of uh, things for granted yeah yeah you can say so uh, Lera do you understand that mm -hmm. yeah, all right uh, yeah because this is real English uh, they take lots of things for granted uh, in Russian you can say um, something like, let's say, like for example, um, th they all have uh, nice cars. Mm -hmm. They they take it for granted, just like they ask their parents, "I want a big car. I want a big truck." why wouldn't I have it and sometimes parents just cannot cannot tell them that just go make some money work to get this truck they say I don't know I just uh, give me this truck they take it for granted okay and uh, maybe a Donald Trump tried to tell people that not always you can get what you want you always get what you need okay mm -hmm. yeah it's about something um, vital yeah 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 right uh, kind of a, you get something very real mm -hmm. 
what is really necessary because need is what is necessary for you okay and another thing is uh, um, yeah probably that we will talk about that next class I just I want you uh, I want to pay attention to you uh, you know Oxford dictionaries right correct excuse me Oxford dictionaries these dictionaries are probably the most reliable the most famous dictionaries of the English language correct what do you think do you agree yes okay so they they picked up a word of the year as always and this year they the the word which they picked as the word of the year is post truth again <laughs> i i know that this is not that easy but can you think can you tell me how you understand this word what is post truth Mm, I've read about it. Okay. Um, as I uh, understand correctly, uh, it means um, that people um, understand something um, that is not really true, but um, from uh, emotional expressions uh, and um, from uh, speeches of um, different um, public uh, persons. Okay. Can you think of... Uh some examples just give uh, give us a couple of or uh, maybe one example of what you understand as a post truth um, it's hard to answer but um, Lera, please do not forget that uh, always uh, first of all we give like you gave a, an abstract answer that's very correct but abstract is nothing without the practical example because uh, you see if you want to understand something you have to give the theoretical explanation that's very true very correct and that's what you did but then you have to give an example otherwise people probably will not understand uh, of what you're talking about let's correct let's check with Alice Alice what do you think what is post truth I don't know so you see um, Lera, uh, probably it's hard for other people to understand what you read about now you had some time uh, maybe you can think right now of an example no just tell me if not I'm, I can help you I'm sorry um, help me please what's that can you help me yeah sure of course so, um, what actually happened uh, in our days, uh, you know, that maybe some 10 years ago, people were reading uh, newspapers, and uh, there in the newspapers, they were the human editors. So, the people who just checked for grammar mistakes or for, you know, factual mistakes, for facts, and after that all of these newspapers uh, all of this media was published okay not like that in our days because you know everybody I mean absolutely everybody can have uh, his own let's say newspaper and this person can publish this newspaper on the internet and in this newspaper this person can invent any kind 
any kind of news and people and I'm giving you the real absolutely real examples one person from the former Soviet Republic of Georgia he started a newspaper through the Facebook and his newspaper it was in English he just copied and pasted American news and he invented the news as he wanted for example he published that after the election Hillary Clinton died and you know his newspaper became so popular he made lots and lots of money and when uh, the journalist came to him and asked him what are you doing this is not true like you see this this is post truth he said I know that this is not truth and they asked him why do you publish it and he said because people like it because they they put lots of likes for my newspaper they read my new and I make lots of money so going back to popular music does it exist you said Bruno Mars has 1 billion views on YouTube. Well, I can give you another example. Uh, do you know what is the most popular topic uh, if you want to start a newspaper? What is the most uh, popular topic? What do you think? Maybe a love, a friendship, war, peace. Lera? I don't know, maybe that uh, someone died. Well, you won't believe. One of the most popular topic is food. So, I'm, I'm absolutely serious. The person who's got, like you said, one billion views uh, on YouTube, he just uploaded uh, the videos about uh, the very simple, very easy food which he uh, invents. And uh, these videos are very short, like let's say less than a minute. And that video might be like one of the videos which is, which is very popular is about uh, cheese uh, and uh, the the uh, the brand of the cheese is uh, Camember. Maybe you know this brand of cheese. And then um, hedgehog is an animal, right? You know hedgehog, correct? Yeah. Um, Lera, do you know a hedgehog? No. I'm not sure. Okay, hedgehog, okay, that's why I'm asking. Hedgehog. So, so, he, so he named, he named his uh, uh, meal, he named Camember Hedgehog Bread. You can go on YouTube and watch it. So, it's less than one minute. Millions of people watched it. So this is called post-truth. Uh, what is post-truth? It's not a fact. Not a fact. Post-truth. Post-truth is. Uh, Can you put down, write down, please, the name of the video? Yeah, sure. Uh, post-truth is not a fact. It's something that people like this is called post truth all right you want me to find okay just hold on um, just um, yeah so you see remember 
it's already there can member bread if you can see h yeah you see can member hedgehog bread okay let me hedgehog bread okay so here you go can you see it Ladies, you can say that I uh, I have only 61,000 uh, views, or uh, not that many uh, views. But this is only one channel. Uh, this is not the original channel of uh, the company I'm talking about. The original cha uh, channel is uh, let me see, it's Jungle Creations. So this uh, this company they have lots of channels like that. Uh, you haven't seen the videos like that before? Uh, no. But they are very popular. Food is the most popular things in nowadays. All right, good. So, um, any questions about this big uh, question? No questions? Uh, um, yeah? When did you start from the music? Uh, because I, I started with the question popular music, does it exist? And you told me that Bruno Mars has one billion views. I, I knew that you are going to, to, to tell me, like uh, you remember that guy from uh, Korea. What was that? Um, yeah gang gangnam style or something mm -hmm. he, he's got some four billion views or something you know that right but uh, was he really popular i don't think so i i i didn't like i i don't like this at all but still uh, you know uh it's post truth it's it's not a fact that people like it or uh, it's not a fact that this is a good stuff but this is popular so that is why i'm trying i'm trying to explain to you that you have to be very careful in our days and do not rely on, on the number of views on youtube the son or the news might have one billion two billion four billion views but still it might not be truth it might not be a good thing. That's why I started from music. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. But I'm sorry, I just uh, make a mistake. It's not Bruno Mars, it's Maroon 5. Ah, uh, Maroon 5, yeah. I, I, yes. Well, I heard this, this song, I understand, Maroon 5. I understand what you're saying. That, that doesn't matter, this is not a mistake. Because, uh, well, I know what you're saying, Maroon 5. Maroon 5 like that right yes yeah okay good so um is uh, is everything clear here uh in the talking about music popular music post truth which is not a fact um ellis do you understand now what a post truth is <laughs> no no it's not like that it's it's not it's not that it's our life <laughs> again uh, as I said uh, you know previously uh, when we talked about science we need to have facts mm -hmm. today you don't need to have facts you have to make something which is popular which brings you money and then you can make everything like some people say that that is why Donald Trump uh, won the elections 
that some something new this is uh, the life you live and it it never happened before like you said um i have forgotten this uh, term in english what you're saying uh, okay let let me just check it um uh, sorry because uh, this is necessary yeah, okay just yeah i will just hold on um Yeah, you can say a spoof story, yeah, a spoof story, rumor, gossip, spoof story, yeah, but there was the, there was the uh, saying, well, I, I will, no, I, I can't find it, but um, I, I will uh, find the, and uh, later I will tell you. So, you see, these fake stories, these spoof stories, they existed always. But now, when we have the internet, that's very different. Everybody can invent news, everybody can invent everything. And that doesn't mean that it is truth, it is a fact that this is really a popular thing, a popular song or a popular president. But it just happened. This is called post-truth. That's a very new notion. That is why it, it's in Oxford Dictionary, it's like a very new word. Okay? Interesting? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I started talking. What heart? Yeah, I know that this is hard. The, the same thing when uh, I first talked with Americans about that. Well, uh, the only thing which uh, the American people told me that they 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 understand it, they understand the the post truth, but they they don't like it. You see, they don't like it. American people, they don't like it. All right. Uh, if you do not have any other questions, uh, so. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, the essays in IELTS. The IELTS... Mm -hmm. uh, what's that? Uh -huh. Okay. So, let me... Let me... Yeah. Now, this is the example and uh, then I will... Yeah. So first of all, let's read uh, the task. Um, Lera, if you don't mind, please read the task. I can see it. You cannot see it? Yes. Well, uh, can you restart your browser? Okay. Yeah, we'll wait for you a little bit. Um, how about you, uh, Alice? Can you um, see it? Yes, I can see it. Yeah, so we will wait a little bit. She restarts her browser. So how was your week? Yeah. How was your week? It is very hard. Okay. Very, um, all right. Very, very, very uh huh. So I was busy all weekends. I understand. Planning to. Lera, uh, can you see it now? Uh, okay, sorry, I just closed it. Can can you see it now? Yes, um, I can. Yes, please, please read the whole task. Task two. In Britain, when people get hurt, uh, they often go to live in home with uh, other people, where there are nurses to look after them. Sometimes the government has to pay for this care. Mm -hmm. Uh, who do you think should pay for this care, the government or the family? Give reasons for your answers and uh, include any relevant examples for your own knowledge or experience. All right, but uh, you didn't read the whole task. So first of all, this is general training writing sample task. Why it's necessary to know that this is general training writing t uh, sample task. Uh, do you know anything about IELTS? just a little bit 
a little bit. So, Alice, you, when we talk about the general writing, what else can be in IELTS? Uh -huh. Speaking part, grammar no, no, part. No, 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 sorry. Um, so, in uh, IELTS, you have two types of uh, uh, exam. One exam is uh, general, and another exam is academic. So, general is usually for general types of jobs. And general is just, for example, if you go uh, to immigrate to Canada, you will have to take the general IELTS exam. But if you want to go to <clears throat> the English-speaking country, but you, you want to study at the university or college, then you will have to take the academic IELTS. So today we're talking, we are talking about the general IELTS, okay? And this is easier than academic, <clears throat> okay? Uh, yes, I see. So then uh, you should spend about 40 minutes on this task. So if you compare with the Russian national exam, is it the same or different? I think it is the same. Was that? The, sa the same. The same. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. Okay. So th then, uh, how about the topic? Uh, can the topic like that be uh, for the Russian national exam? No. No? It's so difficult. It's so difficult. What's that? A little easy. Easy? All right, and uh, then you have to write at least 250 words. Is it the same like in Russian national? Yes. All right, good. So, now the general idea is that when you're old, you often go to live in a home with other old people, and nurses look after you. Sometimes the government pays for this care, sometimes uh, the family so first the question to you what do you think i think that government should care um, to old people okay and explain <laughs> why why do you think so because people um, they uh, uh, no, no. They what? Pay the money for government. They pay for. Um, um. All right, um, Lera, what do you think? I uh, uh, sorry, uh, Alice, your sound uh, breaks up all the time. Yeah, I just can hear only half of your uh, presentation. So, Lera, what would you say? I think it depends on um, a particular family. Uh, some families just um, can't afford uh, to pay, or uh, there are people who um, haven't family at all, uh, so uh, the government should care uh, for these people. All right. Okay, good. Now, uh, I will present uh, to you the answer uh, given by one of the students and you know the grade is uh, 8 you can see the person received 8 points which is very good almost excellent all right let's read uh, the I, I know that it will be very hard for you to read the uh, so-called cursive handwriting Okay, but still you have to read the real English handwriting. All right, so, um, Alice, will you please start? Um, uh, who should be responsible for our old people? Mm -hmm. uh, one of um, the most uh -huh. challenging problems of today's society is. Um, 
me question excuse me is the question is the question is the question who should uh, um, be responsible uh, for our old people um, it, it isn't uh, only a financial problem but also a question of the uh, system the system uh, the system we want uh, they want our society to work to have uh, to have uh, to have mm -hmm. we want the system we want our society to have the system that we want that our society has okay go ahead uh? go ahead Okay, um, it's a question. What kind of a system we want that our society has? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go uh, ahead. My, uh, in my set, I would like to for dif to two different model. models. Yeah, he, this person, I, I'm not sure whether it, it is he or she skipped uh, one word i think it uh, should sound something like in my essay i would like to present four different models okay lera uh, go ahead uh, firstly the company company can be uh, responsible for um their retired mm. retired retired employees it in place for um, for this reason uh, for this reason uh, a special um, fund mm -hmm. and, um, called could be established mm -hmm. established um, the uh, advantage of this um, model model uh, is um, if you believe uh, belief uh, in the capitalist capital system uh, there is should uh, be the cheapest cheapest solution mm -hmm. uh, a possible problem is that uh, the uh, capitalists um, the, the, companies, might, the, the companies the companies might have um, Competition. Competition. Uh, competition disadvantage uh, due to um, higher, higher, H higher staff um, costs. 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 All right, and um, then um, uh, Alice. Uh, so a second solution is that the government has to. Uh, has to take the responsibility for the uh, old people um, here and uh, here. Uh -huh. um, it, uh, it, oh, it can. Uh, it can uh, finance. It, uh, it can finance these uh, in the its tax in incomes. Uh, tax income. with its tax uh, tax. Tax, tax in income. You understand the word tax? Okay. Yeah. Actually, this is the most, worst, the, the most, the most. Actually, this is the most uh, democratic uh -huh. model since everybody gets as much money as he or she needs. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as the Present situation. The present situation. In our country in shows. He shows this solution. Uh, seems not to. Okay. Not to work very well. Mm -hmm. The government can no longer afford supporting all the old people. Okay. Good. So. Um, Lera. Um, another way of solving this problem uh, is to give uh -huh. a prejudicial a 
Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. Oh, what is that, uh, uh, Alice? It's to give bets, yes. Well, I will think it over. The responsibility to the... Uh-huh. Uh, for the... Uh, to the individual. To the individual. Uh-huh. That? Uh, that means, means that uh, everybody um, not to save no, money. No, has, has to save money. That means... Has, has to save money during their um, working. Uh-huh. Working life. Working life uh, for the time. For the time after um, their um, retirement. 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 Uh, this seems to be uh, not a very um, fair um, model. Model uh, because um, they. There will certainly there. there will there will certainly uh, exist people who uh, can't afford to save part uh, of their salary. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, the government um, would have to care for them. Okay, good. And uh, uh, Elis, finish please. Uh, the last solution is to go back to the old model of the big family who cares for all the uh, Mem members. members. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think uh, this is possible in our days society because the family structures uh, ha love have have so, so much have so much uh, have so much uh, changed have have so much changed uh, how so much changed mm -hmm. uh, to sum up I have to admit that I can't find uh, a really good solution for this problem. Um, um, this model, these models uh, have uh, advantages and uh, disadvantages. Certainly, uh, have to uh, think about have to, to think about this think. topic much more in the future. Okay, that's that's enough. So, uh, first of all, yeah. First of all, I would like to 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 say that. Uh, I just preserved uh, the essay as it is. First of all, for you to understand how important your handwriting is. Do you understand it now, how important your handwriting is? <laughs> yes. yes. Please, uh, be very attentive about that. Pay a lot of attention to your handwriting. Because, uh, you know, when your handwriting is so poor, Probably the person who will administer, who will check up your work, probably he will not like it, even if it has a very good uh, content, a very good, uh, if it has very good ideas in it, because of the poor handwriting. So pay attention to uh, mind your handwriting. Okay. Then do not forget that we have lots of uh, mistakes here. Like for example, this sentence there will certainly exist there it should be spelled in a very different way there is uh, there they are you know this uh structure yeah the, the person wrote it like there uh from they they there there will okay you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. okay and uh, another mistake uh was um, uh, is the, this is the most actually this well, well there were some other mistakes I think that um, you know that but this is the most important part here is that the person writes uh, to sum up I have to admit that I can, cannot find a really good solution for this problem all models have advantages and disadvantages so this will not work in the Russian national exam. I think that you know that, right? If, right. You, if you just write it that I cannot find a really good solution for the Russian national exam, you will get a very poor grade. They will tell you, you are supposed to choose uh, some solution and to think which solution is the best. So that's the difference between the Russian national exam and uh, some other exams. 
Okay, and then um, if you read uh, the examiner's comment, okay, if we can make it, yeah, we can make it larger. Okay. So this is a very well-organized script which contains a lot of well-supported arguments and analyses the topic from different angles. The ideas follow each other well and there is a very honest conclusion. The answer is easy to read. There are some areas where the expression is clumsy, but this makes little difference to the overall flow of the answer. There are minor errors in spelling and structure. So again, as I just want to remind you that this is not the case for the Russian national exam. All right, now let's listen to your opinion. What do you think of this um, essay? Please. Ladies, tell me, what do you think of this essay? Um, there are a lot of... Uh, a lot of... What? There are a lot of words, words in this essay. Lots of words? You mean, well, yes. I, ha I haven't counted, but I think that uh, the number is around 250, which is uh, almost the same like you need in the Russian national exam. Okay, what else? I'm sorry, but I didn't... Uh, didn't any color when I re read. Why? <laughs> How can you read no, and... I just, I just try to... Um, understand the handwriting? The text. Yes, understand the handwriting. Yes. Well, but right now, you, you, right now you have some time to think it over. And to, uh, like you said, to think it... Uh, I will try. Yeah, please do. Uh, Lera, what do you think generally about this essay? Uh, I may ask you, uh, is it written uh, by uh, a Russian man? Well, I, I have no yeah. idea. I, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it might be a person from uh, any place in the world. It's just I took these essays from the official, and you can go and uh, uh, find this uh, essay on the official uh, website, which is IELTS.org or O-R-G. You can go there, and you will find it. It's general, uh, general aisles. So, Alera, please, what do you think? Um, mainly, uh, I agree with um, this um, participant. Uh -huh. um, it, look like, uh, it, it looks like um, he or she uh, really um, looked at the problem for, from um, different angles and... Uh -huh. um, good, good. It is, it is all of the solution. I uh, personally, I can um, think of. Yes, think of. Okay, good. And uh, right now, you have uh, to speak about the minuses or disadvantages of this essay. What uh, didn't you like? Um, maybe that um, he or she uh, would express. Uh, his uh, or her uh, own opinion, um, I don't know, correctly or uh, straightly. Okay. Directly, directly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever you call it. Yeah. Two pronunciations are possible, directly and directly. Okay. Alice, can you add something? <laughs> that sounds so funny, you know. <laughs> you were thinking and thinking, and then you said, "No," <laughs> very quietly. Um, sorry, but that that was interesting. All right, ladies, um, if you don't mind, uh, so please uh, uh, write an essay. Who should be responsible for our old people? and send it to me and I will check it up and uh, give my opinion to you. Um, 
well if you ask me generally uh, my opinion uh, about this essay well i would say that alice can write uh, in my opinion you can write even better uh, essay uh Lera, you also can write a better essay what do you think girls alice do you think that you can write better than this yes i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah i agree Lera, how about you mm. I don't really know. Uh, in Russian, of course, but uh, in English, uh, I will have um, some problems. No, I don't think so. Yeah, you just you just try. You just write uh, an essay, send it to me, and then we'll comp we'll compare. All right. Uh, if you don't have any other questions, uh, ladies, uh, the time is up, and um, uh, we will have to um, kind of a round up uh, to finish the class. Any questions, uh, any comments, any whatever you want to say? Um, thank you for the lesson so much. Yeah, that's as always, it's been my pleasure. I enjoyed it a lot myself. Okay. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm going to visit you. I'm going to try to visit you. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you, ladies, and uh, hope thank to see you, so you uh, next week. Um, till next week, have a very good uh, weekend. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. bye.